Today, it's the shortest team in Madden versus the tallest team in Madden. Now, the shortest team in Madden is going to be the Arizona Cardinals since they have the shortest quarterback in the NFL, Tyler Murray. It will be a collection of players who are the shortest at their position. The New York Giants will be the tallest team in Madden and they will be led by Justin Herbert, who is one of the tallest quarterbacks in the NFL. They will have players who are the tallest at each position. We will complete a collection of challenges in practice mode, franchise mode, and a Super Bowl matchup to decide the winner. Starting off with the shortest team's roster, they have Tyler Murray, who's an 82 overall. He has a superstar development trait and he is the shortest quarterback in the NFL at 5'10". But he has wicked speed to escape from the pocket. Next up we have Tyreek Hill who is one of the shortest wide receivers in the NFL at 5'9". Right behind him we have Marquise Hollywood Brown at 5'9". Rondell Moore who is 5'7", which is the shortest wide receiver in the game, along with Greg Dortch. The shortest player in the entire NFL is running back Boston Scott. He is 5'6", but he's only a 74 rated. We also have DeAndre Swift and and Devin Singletary at running back. And the shortest O-line in Madden is Charles Leno, Damian Lewis, Rodney Hudson, Shaq Mason, and Isaiah Wynn. The best player we have on defense is Aaron Donald. He's six foot one at right end. He's a 99 overall and a superstar X-Factor. The rest of the D-line, we have Brandon Graham, Michael Pierce, Ed Oliver, and Grady Garrett. At middle linebacker, we have two players that are 5'11", Nick Bolton, and then we have Perriman. At outside linebacker, Dre Greenlaw and Hassan Reddick are the shortest players in Madden. At free safety, Tyron Matthew at 91 overall and LaMarcus Joyner along with Buddha Baker. The shortest cornerbacks in the game are Kenny Moore, Jonathan Jones, DJ Reed Jr., and Mike Hilton. They're all 5'9 or 5'10. The tallest team in Man is led by Justin Herbert. He's an 89 overall superstar and one of the tallest quarterbacks in the NFL at 6'6". However, the tallest player in the NFL is Dan Skipper. He is 6'9", but he's only a 59 rated. At running back, we have Derek Henry, who is the tallest running back, followed by Najee Harris and Latavius Murray. Starting wide receiver is Mike Evans, 6'5", 89 overall superstar X-Factor, followed by another 6'5 receiver in Alan Lazard. The tallest receiver is going to be this Colin Johnson, 6'6". And here's the tallest O-line in Madden. The tallest tight end is this Donald Parham Jr., and then we have Darren Waller at six foot six. The tallest defensive player we have is Calais Campbell. He's six foot eight, right end. He's a superstar. He's an 85 overall. DeForest Buckner, Arik Armstead, and Greg Russo are the tallest D line in the game. The linebacking core consists of DeAndre Campbell, Tremaine Edmonds, Randy Gregory, and Jalen Phillips. At safety, Isaiah Simmons. Kyle Hamilton and Justin Simmons lead the charge at being the tallest at their position. And the tallest corner in the game is Tariq Woolen. And then we have Patrick Sertain and Sauce Gardner. The first challenge is the punt return challenge. Team Short gets the ball first, returning by Tyreek Hill, who makes one miss, picking up nine yards on their first attempt. Attempt number two, Tyreek Hill makes one miss and... Oh, he's taking off. There he goes. That's a huge gain of 27. Third attempt and last one for Tyreek Hill making one miss. The next two attempts will be returned by Boston Scott. He's 5'6", and he's going absolutely nowhere. Last attempt for the shortest team in Madden. It's going to go, okay? Oh, only six yards this time. The shortest team in Madden was able to return the ball for 64 yards in just five attempts. The tallest team in Madden starts first. Latavius Murray gets the ball, and he's going pretty much nowhere. Second attempt for Latavius Murray and Team Tall and okay breaking one not too bad there last attempt for Latavius Murray and he's gonna go ahead and pick up 15 here Alan Lazar with the next two attempts going absolutely nowhere on the first one the last attempt for the tallest team let's see what they can do here Alan Lazar going only for 10 the tallest team in Madden was able to return the ball for 48 yards not good enough to beat the shortest team in Madden next up is the goal line challenge Whoever gets in the end zone more wins. Starting off with DeAndre Swift and the shortest team not getting in the end zone first. Attempt two, Swift tries to go through and the Giants stand tall. Running back dive up the middle and DeAndre Swift gets stuck on the goal line. Next up is Devin Singletary. Let's see if he can walk into the end zone. And he does, pushes his way through. Tyler Murray with the QB sneak and he gets in. The shortest team goes two for five, which isn't too bad. Next up is Derrick Henry and the tallest team. Let's see if he can push his way in the end zone and he is not getting there on the first attempt. Attempt number two, for Derrick Henry. Let's see if he can get his way into the end zone and again, stop. This time it's the running back dive with Derrick Henry and he walks his way into the end zone untouched. Najee Harris with his first attempt. Let's see if he can push in the end zone and he does just that. Justin Herbert and the QB sneak to win it. Let's see. They do just that. 
The tallest team in Madden ties up the series, winning that goal line challenge. Next up is the passing challenge. We need to see which quarterback can get the most passing yards. First up is Kyler Murray, and he finds his tight end. Second attempt for Kyler Murray. He's probably going right back to that, and he finds his tight end for another 17 yards. Attempt number three for Kyler Murray. He's going, and he finds one. Nope, overthrew. Zero yards on that play. Kyler Murray, once again, throws it up and drops it. Last attempt for Kyler Murray and the shortest team. Let's see what he can do. He finds his tight end once again, picking up 15. That's a total of 49 passing yards from Kyler Murray. Next up is Justin Herbert and the tallest team. Let's see what he can do. He finds his tight end, going for 20-yard pickup. Justin Herbert throws it up, and it gets batted away. Attempt number three, Justin Herbert finds tight end once again, picking another 20 yards. Justin Herbert steps back, finds his tight end, who's going to be picking up quite a bit here, 28 yards. He's looking, and he overthrows his tight end once again, zero yards. Fortunately for the tallest team in Madden, Justin Herbert threw for 68 yards, defeating the shortest team and Kyler Murray. Next up is the franchise challenge. Whichever team, short or tall, has the best record at the end of the season will win this challenge. Advancing through the first half of the season to see who has a better record so far and see if any of the players are performing really well. Through the midseason, Team Short and the Team Tall both have five and two records. The shortest team lost to the Kansas City Chiefs and the Seattle Seahawks. The tallest team lost to the Cowboys and then the Bears back to back. One quick note, Aaron Donald has 10 and a half sacks so far. We are advancing to the end of the season. If both teams have the same record at the end, we'll have to see how they do in the playoff. And the team that had the best record was Team Tall. They finished 12 and five. And unfortunately, the shortest team finished with a 10 and seven record. The tallest team maintained having the third best offense in the league and the shortest team had the second best defense. In the first round of the playoffs, both teams made it past their first round opponents and they went up against each other where the tallest team defeated the shortest team. And the tallest team in Madden wins the Super Bowl, Justin Herbert Super Bowl MVP. Unfortunately, no players from either team won any yearly award. Since the tallest team in Madden defeated the shortest team in Madden in the franchise challenge, they are now up three to one. The final challenge is the Super Bowl matchup. We have Kyler Murray and Team Short, and we have Justin Herbert and the tallest team in Madden going at it. Second down and six, Justin Herbert throws it, and he has a wide receiver open. Third down and five after Derrick Henry ran for five. Let's see if they can get a first down here. Unfortunately, they don't. He got sacked by Ed Oliver for nine yards. A few plays later, Team Short fumbled the ball, and Devondre Campbell picked it up. They worked their way down the field, Unfortunately, they get stopped on third down and they settled for three. Here's our first look at Kyler Murray in game for the Super Bowl. He has it and he's gonna scroll up. Oh, what a pass. Kyler Murray goes and he's gonna be able to pick up like four or five there. They got stalled though and they had to punt the ball on fourth down. In the second quarter, Justin Herbert is under center, second down and two, and he finds his wide receiver in Alan Lazar picking up their first touchdown of the game, going up. 10 to nothing. The tall team has a ball again and they are in the red zone. And just like that, Justin Herbert to Mike Evans for a 12 yard touchdown pass. Putting them up 17 to nothing. Here's the start of the second half is 17 to three, but Marquise Brown picked up a 30 yard reception. And just a few plays later, it's first and goal on the five yard line. Can Kyler Murray get in the end zone? And they get stuck. Third down and goal for Kyler Murray and Team Short. Can they get into the end zone? Kyler Murray scrambling and he gets a big time sack. And they ended up settling for a field goal. Justin Herbert has the ball back here. Let's see what they can do on their next drive. Herbert's making some nice passes into Arizona territory. Fourth down and three. Instead of kicking a field goal here, they have decided to go for it and they get it with a seven yard run from Derrick Henry. The next play, they score a touchdown to Alan Lazard for his second touchdown of the game. Tyler working his way down the field. He's using his legs. There's a penalty on the defense, which definitely helped. And then Tyreek Hill with his first touchdown of the game, 11 yard receiving touchdown. Unfortunately, that wasn't enough. The tallest team in Madden beats the shortest team in Madden, 27 to 13, winning their Super Bowl and winning four out of the five challenges. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you check out where I added one NFL superstar to the Carolina Panthers until they won the Super Bowl.